أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أهلا وسهلا إلى مركز العلوم والحكمة Remote Study Welcome to 19th part of our lesson series from the book titled Lentage Read with Ease I am Modaris Sulaiman Ali. Happy listening. So in this part of the lesson, we are going to discuss the law of Alif. The law of Alif. There are two types of Alif in Arabic. One is called Alif follow Wasli. Alif follow Wasli, joint Alif. Alif al Wasli joint Alif. Sorry, number one is called Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati and Alif al Wasli. There is a little mistake here. So Alif al Qati means this joint Alif. Alif al Qati this joint Alif. Well, Alif al Wasli means joint Alif. Again, Alif al Qati. This joint alif. Wherever you see alif al qati, you must read it. So alif al wasli, joint alif. Alif al wasli, joint alif. You can only read it at the beginning of a word or at the beginning of a verse of the Noble Quran. You don't read it in the center of a verse. So that is alif al wasli, joint alif. <coughs> Once again, alif al qati. Alif al Qati means disjoint Alif. Well, Alif al Wasli means joint Alif. So here is Alif al Qati. This is Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati. So Alif al Qati has small Ainun written on it. That's how you know it. Here is Alif al Qati, the one that has small Ainun written on top of it. And here is Alif al Wasli. Alif al Wasli is the one that has small sawdun, small sawdun written on top of it. You call this Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati, this joint Alif. And this Alif al Wasli. Alif al Wasli. Alif al Wasli, joint Alif. Once again, here is Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati, this joint Alif. Alif al Qati, this joint Alif. And here is Alif al Wasli, joint Alif. Alif al Qati, Alif al Qati, Alif al Qati is the name. And this is Alif al Wasli. Alif al Wasli. Alif al Wasli is the name given to it. So Alif al Qati is a kind of Alif that has more Ainu written on it, as I said earlier. And it is read wherever it is found in the Noble Quran. So now examples of that to illustrate what I've just said. Here is Alif al Qati at the beginning. Akaru. Akaru. Here Alif al Wasli in the center. Thumma akara. Thumma akara. It was red, isn't it? MashaAllah. And here is Alif al Wasli at the end. Annabah. An-Naba'u. An-Naba'u. It was read. That is to tell us that Alif al Wasli, Alif al Qati. Alif al Qati. So here is Alif al Qati at the beginning. Alif al Qati in the middle or at the center. And here is Alif al Qati at the end. So that is to tell us that Alif al Qati is read wherever it is found. Then the second type of Alif, Alif al Wasli, is a kind of Alif. That has more sawdun written on it. It is only read at the beginning of a verse and skipped. You skip it when found in the center of a verse of the Noble Quran. As for Alif al Wasli, if you find it at the beginning of a verse, the vowel sound of the third letter determine the kind of vowel sound you are to give it. If you see Alif al Wasli at the beginning of a verse, you count your letters. 
whatever the third letter is carrying, we now determine what you give Ali Polowaski. Number one, if the third letter is carrying Fatiha or Kasara, you give Ali Polowaski Kasara, that is law one. If the third letter is carrying Fatiha or Kasara, what do you give Ali Polowaski? So you give Ali Polowaski Kasara, that is one. Law two of Ali Polowaski. If the third letter is carrying Domma, you give Ali Polowaski Domma. Again, if the third letter is carrying Domma, give your Ali Polowaski Domma by reading it with Domma. Law three. If you see Lamun immediately after Ali Polowaski, you give Ali Polowaski Fatiha. If you see Lamun after Ali Polowaski, so that Lamun is telling you to read your Ali Polowaski with Fatiha. Then the last one. Ali Polowaski is dropped when there is a letter with vowel sound before it. Meaning, when Ali Polowaski is preceded, when Ali Polowaski is preceded by another letter carrying either Fatiha or any other vowel sound, you are going to drop Ali Polowaski by joining that letter with the letter after Ali Polowaski. Okay, let's try to illustrate. What I've just said. Number one of this law, third letter with Fatiha. That is law one. Okay, third letter with Fatiha. And we are going to illustrate that in the next lesson, inshallah. I hope you understand. MashaAllah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. I kindly like the video. Share it and hit the subscribe button below. Ma'asalama. وإلى اللقاء آخر